Hello guys, it is Bazinga here and welcome back to episode 3 of my Random League Selector series. So as you can see, we have ticked off the Pro League, that was the video yesterday. We are now moving on to the Tipper Legion League, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And this team is, I, I forget what I said last video about the Pro League being the funnest team. This team is insane and I highly recommend it to anyone Anyone who's going to enter the silver tournament on at the moment or really wants a silver team, this team is my favourite team so far. And one of the players in there has become my favourite player in the whole of the game. So let's get started with the squad builder and I'll see you guys there. You're right guys, so we are back for the squad builder part of this episode and we are using the 4-3-2-1 formation. This is one of my favourite formations, it was awesome in FIFA 12, I believe it was in FIFA 12 and it, I really like this formation just overall. So let's get started with the goalkeeper, we have... Orland, he was a rare last year, I believe, in FIFA 12 because I used him in a Tipolesian or Swedish squad, I believe it was. But 70 diving, 72 handling, 78 reflexes and 70 positioning makes him one of the strongest silver keepers and probably the, the best goalkeeper in this league. And is a great shot stopper as always. I always try to get the best goalkeepers in the division and uh, just a great shot stopper and overall good keeper. So moving over to the left back of the team, we have Vilsvik, I believe that's how you say it, 80 pace, which is obviously another great help for the back line. I always try to aim to get the left back and right back to have a very fast stats just so they can keep up with the wingers on the game. And 72 defending, which is a great uh, great stat for him as well. And 71 passing him allows him to distribute the ball to the midfield very nicely. Moving over to the first centre-back of the team, we have Reganusen or something like that. He has got a red card for me because I did make a rash challenge just in the last game that I'd played. But 71 pace, another big help for a centre-back because most centre-backs in this game are below 70 pace, which is quite a shame. And 74 defending and 70 heading, some great stats for a silver card and great overall defender to have. I believe he was quite cheap as well. 200 coins for a centre-back of his quality for a silver is insane. So moving over to the last centre-back, we have 76 pace Hovland. Sorry, I keep getting the pace before the name. But Hovland, 76 pace and 77 defending. Again, great stats. He is a rare card. I believe he was quite expensive. As you can see, 11,000 coins for this guy, which is, which is a shame. But he was the only one on the market, I believe, at the time. So I decided to spend the coins on him. So we'll move over to the right back and we have Gamboa Luna, again 82 pace, another standout stat for the right back. And I, as I said before, I aim for the fastest right backs in the league and this guy is a great help against the pacey wingers. So we will move over to the first centre back of the team and we have Agude, 78 pace, 74 defence which is great as well for when uh, tracking back to help the back four. And 75 heading, quite a tall guy, I believe he is. Yeah, oh no, he's not, he's 5 foot 11, my bad. But 76 dribbling as well allows him to get in and out of the other opponent's midfield very nicely. So moving over to the main centre back in the team, we have Hoosklep. Uh, this is the guy who I said is my favourite player on the game. 88 pace, 69 shot, which is a complete lie. This guy's long shots, as you will see in the goals at the end of this episode, are absolutely insane. 72 dribbling, that's a lie. He can get in and out of, def in and out of defenders so easily, and he's just insane. My favourite player on the game so far, an amazing silver to have. He's quite expensive. Again, 12,500 coins, four-star skill moves again. I just absolutely love this guy, and I highly recommend getting him for a silver team. Moving over to the left centre mid of the team, we have Drage, 84 pace, so allows him to get forward and attack with the striker of the team. 71 pace and 79 dribbling allows for great distribution and work in the centre mid area. Moving over to the left forward of the team, we have Juf, 82 pace, not the fastest of left forwards in the game, but definitely can beat the defenders very easily. 75 dribbling, 72 shot, and he's got a great finish. He always cuts inside and manages to finish the ball for me. And moving over to the right forward of the team, we have Gat, an American guy, 91 pace. I was quite surprised to see an American guy in the Tipolesian League, but 91 pace, an absolute speed demon, allows to get past the defenders and whip the balls in. Just a great overall player. I believe he was quite cheap, 1,000 coins, which isn't too trouble troubling for your uh, coin total. Moving over to the striker of the team, we have none other than El Yanusi, 88 pace, 71 shots, 78 dribbling and 74 heading. Another fantastic player for this team. He was quite expensive to 6,500 coins. But 4-star weak foot and 4-star skill moves enables him to be one of the best strikers for a silver card. And probably one of the best silver strikers in the game. And uh, that is the last player for the team, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. As I said before, this team is insane and I highly recommend it to you guys. So if you did enjoy it, leave it a like and I will see you guys next time. Peace.